I'll talk about a very um, recent implementation of S4 HANA for a client. Um, so the client is a large manufacturer and distributor of agric agricultural products. As they were deploying S4 HANA, a critical component for them was to ensure that their sales team is able to utilize the transactions appropriately and the support team is not spending so much time just resolving errors. Um, keeping that in mind, Deloitte advised them on WalkMe as a preferred digital adoption platform tool. And what we did is we segmented their processes to come up with a list of 40 advanced solutions that were built in WalkMe. Now, this included step-by-step -step walkthroughs. It included some guidance, some guided workflows, as well as call-outs, shout-outs, et cetera, in the production environment. Um, we also segmented these uh, walkthroughs um, to make sure that they are role-based. So only as a user, if I need to see a certain transaction or a certain guidance, I see that on the screen. Utilizing WalkMe uh, as their digital adoption tool at the time of Go Live uh, was very successful because it brought in efficiencies. Um, we also advised them to utilize this um, as a platform analytics to understand Go Live metrics, right? And the data that we came back with were there were around 2,000 plus employees that in, that interacted with WalkMe um, in their HCM and CRM platform with less than 5% defects, which was huge. Um, so that accounted for their success story during the time of Go Live. Uh, but as the user started using um, the production system, they ran into a certain kind of error, which was called suspense error handling. Because of the numerous amount of suspense errors that were coming in, their support team and the sales function was spending a lot of time just resolving those errors. Thinking through, again, bringing in efficiencies and how DAP could support, Deloitte advised to bring in the Walk Me chatbot or the action bot feature to provide the first level support, right? So if you run into a certain kind of a suspense error, the chatbot will give you two options, right? To resolve your error. If that doesn't help, then you can go back to a support team to ask more. But then again, it brought in a huge amount of operational efficiency, saving time for the support team.